how do you convert from Newman projection formula to Fisher projection formula? Here is a Newman projection formula that has been given to us and we need to convert that into Fisher projection formula. Okay, so this is your first carbon and the carbon that's represented as a circle is connected to the first carbon. Now, if a Newman projection formula has been given in the staggered conformation, it has to be converted into an eclipse conformation first before we can convert that into Fisher projection formula. So here is the staggered conformation where you can see all the bonds are apart from each other, separated from each other. Okay. Now we are going to rotate it in a, uh, in a way so we can see that each of these groups are eclipsing one another. Okay. If we rotate this to 60 degrees, then we can definitely tell that this chlorine will be eclipsing the CH3. Okay. So let's draw the new Newman projection formula for this molecule. So we have chlorine, CH3, NH. I am keeping the first carbon constant and I'm rotating the second carbon. And I have CH3. If I rotate in this direction, the CH3 is going to be just behind Cl. And this hydrogen is going to be just behind the CH3. Okay. And this hydrogen is going to be behind this hydrogen. Okay. This is my new Newman projection formula. Now I want to convert this into Fisher projection formula. So for which I have to draw horizontal and vertical lines. Let's draw the horizontal and vertical lines. Since it has two carbons, okay, this is my carbon in the front and this is my carbon at the back. I'm going to put two horizontal lines, which is going to represent the intersection of these two. The intersection of these lines is going to represent the two carbons. This is my carbon in the front. This is my carbon at the back. Okay, my front carbon is connected to Cl. Okay, the Cl should be on the top, and I have whatever that is that I have on the right side on the Newman projection formula should also be on the right side in the Fisher projection formula. So I have CH three here. And on my left is, is an hydrogen, okay? And this CH3, uh, when I look in this carbon, this carbon is attached to a CH3, H, and H. But this CH3 should be placed at the bottom of the Fisher projection formula, meaning that it is away from us, and the two hydrogens will be taking one on the right and then one on the left. They'll be taking the left and the right positions. Now we have the proper Fisher's projection formula. Now let's see if we can assign the configuration for this, for which we are going to assign the priorities. So let's assign the priority. Let's take this first carbon and we'll find out whether it has a chiral center or not. Okay, this carbon is attached to a CL CH3, N and H, and a CH2, CH3 group, which is basically an ethyl group. So obviously this carbon is a chiral carbon and therefore we can definitely identify the configuration of this carbon. Now let's take a look at this carbon. This carbon does have exactly the same group and therefore it is not a chiral center. If you want, you can rewrite this entire group as CH2, CH3. Okay, let's do that. CH2, CH3, because that's just merely an ethyl group. And then now it will be much easier for us to assign the priorities. So between chlorine, ethyl, and methyl, obviously it's the chlorine which is going to have higher priority. Okay, so that has to be number one. And the ethyl group is to be number two. And the methyl group is going to be number three. And it's going in anticlockwise direction. But look into this, the hydrogen is actually on the horizontal bond. If the hydrogen is going to be on the horizontal bond, on the Fisher projection formula, then rotating anticlockwise would give us R configuration. 
And therefore, the configuration of this molecule is going to be R.